New developments this hour in a deadly Norfolk shooting. Police tell us someone found Gilbert Johnson's body lying on the sidewalk of the Tidewater Park apartment complex. The shooting took place right off of Chapel Street, and now police are trying to figure out who is responsible. Ten of your sides, Liz Paca joins us live with the latest on the investigation. Liz. Well, Cheryl and Katie Johnson's family is devastated. I spoke with his fiance Deanna a couple hours ago. She was still up and walking around and trying to process this entire thing. Here's what she had to say. So sudden, so sad for all of us. Gilbert was my best friend. He was he was everything to me. Johnson was a father of six. His sister tells us his own daughter was there in the neighborhood right by him when he was shot and killed. So you can imagine how much his family is dealing with this morning. Here's what we know so far. And while I'm telling you this, take a look at some of this crime scene video we were able to get last night. The shooting happened around 730 on Chapel Street. A neighbor told us there was a lot of people running. He heard screaming. So he went to check on the victim and he was already gone. He was already dead. We spoke to Johnson's sister and cousin about how difficult all of this is. I was hurt. I'm heartbroken. Like, that's my only brother. We feel the pain. And with God's help, we will get through this. We just have to pray and press on and pray for those that did this. And we will forgive. His family tells us Johnson was 36 years old. Now they are asking for people to come forward. It was light out when the shooting happened. They say someone must have seen something. Police haven't released any suspect information. They say they don't have a motive, but they are asking for the public's help. If you know anything about this shooting, about whoever killed Gilbert Johnson, they want you to give them a call. Live in Norfolk, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.